Today we are going to be grafting some trees with Lewis Creek Farm. Uh, we are partnering with Lewis Creek Farm and planting a couple of acres of specialty apple varieties. Uh, we've got a good mix of English, French, and Colonial American apples that we will be uh, grafting and, and then planting in a, in a two acre plot to start. So here you can kind of see the rootstocks being cut on the chop saw over there, cut to the right diameter. You want to match them up with the bud wood, the scion wood, with the diameter of the rootstock, if possible. So there's a little bit of play there. You kind of got to match things up a little bit. But as you can see here, the bud wood has many little buds all over it, and you want at least two buds per graft in order to get a pretty good successful rate of uh, acceptance onto the rootstock. So Trey here is going to be using a new machine to graft that yellow handled thing there and kind of mix two diagonal cuts, one on the rootstock and one on the bud wood. And then from there he'll make an, an additional cut on the cut he just made going in the opposite direction. And then He'll slide those two together, creating a nice Z-like union, <clears throat> which is super strong and really holds holds everything in place, uh, making sure that uh, all the nutrients and water from the roots will take into the scion wood. You can kind of see that right there. Tony here is doing it the old school way, hence the uh, tape on his fingers. <laughs> pretty easy to mis, uh, misalign that blade and, and jab your finger, but he's old school. He knows what he's doing. No telling how many trees he's grafted over the years, probably 100,000 or more. So you want a nice snug fit on the graft and you want to test it for tightness and then he passes it over to get taped. And from here what you're doing is you're, uh, it's called grafting tape. And it's uh, kind of like a fabric, fabric tape. And you want to make sure you cover the entire cut with a good quarter inch above and below where the um, where the cuts were made. Once you've got them taped up, you want to seal the ends on the the budwood side. So it's kind of like a little wax glue-like seal that really just traps the moisture in, prevents the prevents the graft and the and the uh, the new tree from drying out. You can see here this apple box is a pretty handy tool for laying out all your trees. Here you've got uh, a nursery for the orchard. You've got uh, one-year-old plants right there. You can see how small they are. That's essentially what we'll be planting, a similar, a similar situation, about the same height coming out of the ground of those ones that we just grafted. And here is an example of the trellis system. It's about 10 feet high, and as you can see, the uh, apples get a lot of sunlight, a lot of good growth, and they kind of stretch, stretch the limbs out across the uh, wires to help them maximize sunlight. 